if you have ever been stuck trying to figure out how to lay your designs in 2d this video is for you hey everyone quick guest us here welcome back to my channel in today's episode we are going to talk about something useful in autodex inventor that is how to turn your 3d models into a clear 2d drawings i mean 2d technical drawings stay tuned and today we'll be talking about how we can create our front elevation side elevation and the plan view i'll show you how to add the dimensions so that everything is ready for manufacturing or presentation stay tuned and have fun okay guys so welcome to my screen and for the purpose of this illustration i have my 3d model drawn already if you want to see more of this model make sure you hit on the like button the subscription button so that you don't miss any notification of any video i upload to the channel so let us get right into it now from this section from this tab i'll click on this drop down over here click on drawing now since i already have my 3d model opened so it basically means you have to get your 3d model what open i'll click on the base the moment i click on the base it basically use my 3d model as reference right basically uses my 3d model as what reference for this base now we can label this uh, our front view but we first have to make the other views visible so i'll click on this arrow and click on this arrow too now they are basically showing in what solid state so i'll first change the view style and i'll use this view style i can use this view style press on ok now everything has been changed nicely over here so what is next for me to do let me also make my 3d object appear here so that we know whatever we are doing i'll double click on the base and click this one click on the arrow over here so this one basically pops up i can first i can change i can basically keep it anywhere around my screen but let me keep it over here for me to have enough working space or working area i can then rotate this one maybe i don't want to work with that view i can just keep on rotating this one till i get the appropriate view i want to work with i'll leave this scale over here because it wasn't really drawn to scale whether one is to one two is to one three is to one we didn't basically restrict ourselves to any scale and we are going to basically use the default scale it generated for us so i'll, I'll now click on okay like this okay so i now have to add all the dimensions but first let me label my various views so i'll just double click on any of the views over here i'll just select edit since it's scale i can just erase the scale portion basically erase everything and type front view front view like this highlight everything and then change the dimension I'll be using the dimension of 0.5 inches since my 3d model was drawn in inches i'll maintain that unit like that okay so 0.5 press enter and i'll press a key i'll click on this button to make it visible and press ok front view like this now i'll do same for this side sorry this one is supposed to be my end plan view so i'll just select change it plan i can choose to add a view i can just choose to claim it like this so plan and repeat the same steps for this one as well so i And you can also change the font style at this drop down there are tons of font style for us to use if you are very familiar with microsoft word i think you can play around with all these styles or formats settings i just click ok and just click on this 
for it to be visible now i have my various views over here i can do same for this one but let me maintain all only these three because this is what we are going to talk about so now what is left for me to do is now i have to add my dimensions to this drawing so at this dimension i'm going to first use this one as the whole illustration so i'll come to the annotate section now we have dimensions and we have a whole lot of um, formats or editing we can make at this section so I'll, i want the dimensions so i'll just select my dimensions now i'll first choose this dimension you see it automatically generates the dimension for me but as we can see the font is too small so what i'll do is i can double click on it and do it and select my actual font highlight or press this edit and what change my font size or basically for us not to waste time on editing all the font i can just select this manage tab for me not to waste time i can just come to this section style edit editor now come to this side select notes test editor and type in the font i want to use and i want to basically use 0.4 for all the font size of my dimensions just press save now we can see the font size has been changed now i want to change i want to basically change the color so i can basically come to this tab come to the dimensions tab open the drop down or on this tab on this same notes tab i can just select color i want it to look um be in color blue save and continue now all my fonts are in color blue as we can all see so now let so on this tab i'll just select come back to my annotate dimension in this dimension is already there as we can all see so i'll just bring it out 30 so now let me now let me drag this plan from the meantime okay so now let us continue with this font dimensions come to this side drag it down this one was giving us what 60 the idea of how to make your actual dimensions in 2d technical drawings it is basically what um, they do just come here drag it down here and keep it the same height of this and maintain my 15 like this okay so i'll can also basically come to this portion select my dimension drag it in 15 okay and select this side to 15 select this side to 37.5 now let me select this radius click on it drag it up From this side to this side you can select that one too as a whole length keep it here select this radius to keep it here select this radius to you can decide to keep it like this done now for us to get the indications that they are the centers for this radius i just come to and annotate the center max i just click on this one see it's showing me the center max just click on this one i can do same for this one but let us just leave it like this so assuming you have radios and other stuff you can basically or circles or holes you can basically use this one this center max too i mean distinguish between two centers so i can just click on this see so it's telling you that this radius and this radius has what common centers and the software does this for you at ease so i think i'm really done with my dimensioning and all these are 
basically our hidden dimensions which so i think my dimensions are completed uh, this is very nice so i think we are getting a nice looking design i think you really appreciate these steps of getting uh, so guys if you really like this video hit on the subscription button hit on the like button and on our next episode we are going to talk about how to plot basically in autocad we have something we call plotting plotting basically in layman's terms we can see plotting is just converting your 3d model into a pdf format but we have a whole lot to talk about so we'll catch you guys on another one i hope this video really helps